Hey folks, Nass here. I've got another Medieval Dynasty tips and tricks guide for you. Uh, in this guide, we're actually going to be covering several early game tips. Uh, that way it'll help you advance in your dynasty uh, with a lot better ease. So let's get into this. So on the keyboard, the F5 key is your quick save. So if you hit F5, you see up in the top left corner of the screen, it says quick save. That means that it has quickly saved the game from the point where you hit the button. So that way, if you come up and let's say that we talk to Dale Bohr here and what we are going to Mr. accept a quest from him. Uh, and I granted this quest that he's offering us is a fairly simple quest, but there are quests in the game that sometimes you may not be prepared to complete them in a timely fashion. We're going to go through his dialogue real quick. Uh, and you can see there in the top right corner, uh, just like Papa, he wants a wooden hammer. Now this is a fairly simple uh, objective to complete. But if let's say you had a quest where you had to get uh, a recurve bow or an iron axe and you weren't quite to that point in the game yet and you were afraid that you could not complete this quest even if you could go buy one and get back so let's say that you're in the last day of your season and but you don't have time to run to hornica or you don't want to go and fight wolf or weissen or something trying to get to hornica so you can talk to jan to buy an iron axe or if you wanted to run over to Lesnica and you needed to buy uh, a recurve bow or something from um, Gisela. So at that point, as long as you did F5 before you actually picked up the quest, then you can turn around and you can hit the key F9, which is also on, the, on your keyboard. And what that will do is that will take you into a quick reload. So it'll reload you right back to the point where you pressed F5. And as you can see, uh, little Dale Boar is walking around and on the direction bar up there, he's still got his quest. We can actually talk to him and you can see the little exclamation point right next to his name, meaning he still has his quest. We do not have it anymore in our side quest. You can see there are no side quests. So it's a really good feature to, to do, to use. Um, you can use the F5. Let's say uh, you just happen to spot a bandit camp. Quickly hit that F5 button, do a quick save. That way, if something goes awry and you take a ton of damage or even possibly die, but yet you don't have an heir to take over uh, and continue playing your dynasty as, then you can actually hit the F9 button. You can reload, and because you're already going to know which direction the bandits or the wolves or whatever is coming from, you can have a better chance of outrunning them, regaining your composure, and then handling the fight appropriately. So F5 and F9 are definitely your friends in this game, and I recommend using them often. Sometimes it can be easy to get sidetracked in Medieval Dynasty. Uh, I mean, you, you've got berries that you're picking. You're looking for sticks and stones on the ground to make that knife that broke while you were hunting your last deer. Uh, you've spotted some clay on the ground and all of this good stuff. But yet, you're wanting to head some player in the map. Uh, like, I've got Gustovia checked right now. But let's say that you were headed over to Lesnica, way across the map. Um, to speak with uh, Gisela. Maybe you needed to buy a new bow because your bow broke or something like that. Or maybe you've got uh, a quest over there, but you're already tracking a quest. So you can't track uh, two side quests at once. Uh, you can track a main quest and a side quest, but not two side quests. So let's say you had a side quest that was that direction and you were wanting to complete it while on the way, but yet you're working on other things as well while you're headed that direction. You place that way marker on your map and you can see up at the directional bar at the top of the screen, it's still visible. So that way you can go and you can get your clay or you can pick up your sticks or you can pull out your weapon and load it and hunt a bear or a bear. Uh, good luck. A uh, boar or squirrel. Not squirrels. What am I talking about? Fox. <laughs> 
And I got hunting on the brain or rabbits. I mean, we got rabbits here. And if you shoot something and you have to chase it down, it could easily get you turned around. But yet you can see that you still got that way marker on the map and you can always direct yourself right back and make sure that you're staying on track as to where if that way marker is gone. So you double click to place the way marker and you can hit F to remove it. So now the way marker is gone. So if I go and I'm chasing somebody off over here and, and skinning the, you know, a deer or moose or something like that, uh, and then I'm like, oh, shoot, now I've got to open the map and I've got to figure out, oh, shoot, I'm, I'm headed the wrong way. I've got to go back this direction. But putting that way marker, double click that on Lesnick over there, and then, boop, there we go. You're always easily able to see which direction you need to head. So doing quests and picking up quests, they do have expiration times on them. So there is a time limit that you need to take to complete those before they fail. And if you don't want your quest to fail, you want to make sure to keep an eye on the expiration time for that quest. So what you can do is when you pick up quests or depending on what quest you have, you can hit the J button to open up your uh, active quests. Now you can see up here, we'll click on the chapter quests. Chapter quests do not have an expiration time at all. You can hold on to them forever. However, I suggest going through them. There's not very many of them and they are beneficial and they do give you a uh, dynasty reputation, which is really good. It also increases your building limit and stuff like that by completing certain chapter quests. Uh, so I would recommend going through these as quickly as you can. Now, anything else, so like your side quests, which I don't currently have any in my inventory or in my quest log, but you can actually see, like I have the Elwyn story quest. It tells me up here, right below the title, that I've got six years left before this quest expires. The Sambor quest, it tells me I have 18 years left. Even your side quest will tell you when they expire, and most side quests will expire the following season. So you do need to complete side quests the season you pick them up in. Um, my Unigar story, again, is also 18 years. Uh, but that's how you see when your quests expire or if they expire. Uh, so that way you know uh, the urgency in which you need to get them done. So every time you pick up a side quest, remember most side quests expire at season change. So if you pick them up, Late in the season, you may run into an issue about getting them completed before the season changes over. Uh, so try not to do side quests on your last day of your season. I typically like to try and do mine, usually my first or second day of my season, and then get all of my other farming and mining and logging and stuff like that done throughout the season. That way, that's all taking, uh, the quests are all taken care of in case I run into season change unexpectedly. In other words, I lost track of time or whatever. Oh, congratulations, you made it about halfway through this video. If you found any of these items helpful in any way, make sure to click that like button. I'd greatly appreciate it. Alrighty, folks, uh, for this next tip, what you want to do is you want to remember that opening up your inventory or your management screen or any of these tabs that are up here, if you hit the hot key to open those, your map, uh, this pauses the game. So if you are in a situation to where you're strolling around the map or whatever and, and trying to find a particular location or you're chopping down trees or something, and let's say you automatic, you, uh, you all of a sudden hear a wolf and you're like, Oh crap. <laughs> I don't know if I have my bow on me. I don't know how, if, I, if I have any arrows on me, uh, you know, do I have any potions or do I have any herbs on me to replenish my health if I actually have to fight this thing? Uh, what you can do is you can actually hit I or N or M or J to open any of these screens. This pauses your game. That way you can gain your composure. You can calm down a little bit so you're not all uh, frazzled and stuff because you're hearing a wolf over in the distance. doesn't matter if you really know 
where it is yet. You actually, you know, if you've got your speakers or your headset on, you can kind of hear what direction that came from because they do give you a warning growl and you do have a few seconds before they start heading to you to attack. So as soon as you hear the noise, you want to, you know, hit your, your map key or open your inventory and go, hey, you know what, do I have my... Uh, in my case, it's wooden bolts because I have the, the wooden crossbow on me. Do I have enough bolts on me? Are they equipped? And you can say, oh, shoot, my bolts, they're not equipped. Well, let me let me highlight those and hit F and let me make sure that those are equipped. Or if you've got the recurve bow or the long bow or whatever, make sure your arrows are equipped or your axe. It's like, do, do I have my axe equipped? Where's my axe? Uh, oh, shoot, my axe wasn't equipped because I picked it up out of my storage, and but I didn't equip it yet. You can actually go and you can put that, in, you know, in your equipped slots. So see, now I've got it on two and it's like, okay, I, I'm going to have to pull out my axe because I got the crossbow and this thing is right on me. Or yeah, do I have time to load my crossbow when I come out and uh, get ready for this wolf to attack? Or Better yet, it gives you time to gain your composure to where you can come out of it. You realize where the animal was and you can run the opposite direction because if you hear it and respond quick enough, then you can outrun the area and the wolf won't chase you. They won't see you as an interest and then you're, you're scot-free. Then once you're clear, then you can go in and you can say, okay, I need to load my crossbow and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to take care of this guy. Then you, you're in a safe area and you can go back and engage. Now, granted, there wasn't a wolf over here. I was strictly using it as, a, as an example. Also, if you've been playing the game for quite a while, uh, you may have consumed a few drinks, uh, whether it be water or your favorite adult beverage or whatever, and nature may be calling for you. <laughs> You can always open the inventory. This pauses the game. Go relieve yourself. Go fix you another drink. Go get you a snack. Come back. Time hasn't changed. So opening any of those screens, the map, uh, your management, your inventory, your journal, any of those screens pauses the game. Alrighty, so you've gone, you've gotten your villager, your first villager, your second, your third, whatever, however many you've gotten so far, but you've got your villager, you've assigned him to a workstation, but you want to make sure once you assign them to the workstation, so let's go into our management page here, so you can, you can see my guy here, he's leaning against the wall, so you want to make sure to go into your management, whoops, I hit the wrong key, uh, so we're going to go to like the barn. So he's in farming. So you can click on your barn and everything. He's got no assignments. So you want to make sure to give him something to do, no matter whether it's your barn worker or your lumberjack or your miners or whatever. You want to make sure to go into that workstation and assign them stuff to do. So like he's, I know that we've got flax, so I need to assign him something to do. Now it says I have no worker. That's true because I don't have a barn worker. He's a field worker, but I can change him from a field worker to a barn worker because I don't have anything that needs to be planted right now. But anyway, you want to make sure to assign them something to do, whether it's make fertilizer or plant or, uh, excuse me, thresh, uh, grain or something like that, but make sure to go in and assign them things to do. Otherwise, you're going to get a guy that just stands around and does this. And you're going to wonder, why is my guy not working? Well, the barn, are they able to plant something that particular season? Do you have the items that they need to have planted? Are they in the right location? You know, so you want to make sure that the items that they need are in the right location. Do they need to be in the resource storage? Do they need to be in the food storage? Uh, does your worker have something assigned to do? So we go back in, go to the management. We can go to barn. We can go here. Now you can see he is a farm worker. Now let's see. We need to remove him from that. I can take him, assign him barn worker. There we go. So now he's a barn worker. I may have pissed him off because I changed his, his work 
schedule or whatever. But now you can see he's actually working my flax seed because I know I had flax from the previous season. And he's going to go and he's going to thresh that flax and get my flax seed and straw or whatever, excuse me, the flax and straw from that. So you want to make sure to assign them something to do so they're not just standing around and you're like, why is he standing around? He's not doing anything. Now he's going to go and do something. So regardless of what, uh, what workstation they're at, make sure that you go in and assign that workstation something to do. If you've ever wondered, where do I put the ax for my lumberjack to use it? Or where does this rot go for my barn worker to turn it into fertilizer? Don't fret. Uh, this is very easy. So what you want to do is you want to open your inventory. You want to go to the item that you're looking at placing somewhere. So like this bronze axe, if I wanted my lumberjack to use this bronze axe, you look down here in the description or right here, it says resource storage. It'll always tell you every item will always tell you where items go in order and this is for your workers to use them because obviously you're going to know where to go to pick it up if you need to use it uh, but you can see that a lot of items are the resource storage so the bronze axe you would put it in the resource storage that way your lumberjack could go to the resource storage and pick it up also if you go over into the food so rot is considered consumable. If you highlight the rot, the rot will tell you it needs to go in the food storage. That way your barn worker can pick it up and turn it into fertilizer for you. Now the fertilizer itself will go, I don't think I have fertilizer on me, but the fertilizer itself will go back into the resource storage. So the, the workers will always put the items where they belong in order for other villagers and workers to pick them up to use them in their craft so like if you had somebody in the smithy that needed copper and uh logs so your lumberjack would put the logs in the resource storage to where your person that's working in the smithy could pick up those logs to use them to make different tools and things so always check to see where everything goes that way you're putting it in the right place so like your sticks and your stones, they all go in the resource storage, your water skin in the resource storage. Now this is an empty water skin. A full water skin will actually go in the full food storage. So the water skin has two different locations it can be depending on which state it's in. If it's empty, it goes in the resource storage. So if you have somebody working the well, they'll grab that empty water skin out of the resource storage. They'll fill it at the well. Then the full water skin, they will put the f in the food storage. So always check the tool tip for where items go. Well, folks, this is going to be all for the tips and tricks guide today. If you found any of this information helpful, definitely click that like button. Uh, if you've made it this far in the video, there was clearly something you did like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. It greatly helps the channel out a lot. You'll also find the links to my Discord, Buy Me A Coffee, Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, all down in the description below. So feel free to follow me at those locations. And we will see you folks in the next one. You take care and happy hunting.